Um, hello everybody, like, YouTube fans, followers of the channel, Sebo, uh, Sebo, uh, excuse me on that, um, so today I'll be doing part 24 of my Blue Light collection, it's gonna be a long series, folks, but we're making it there, we're making Pogwiss in this series, so yeah, um, um, this is the only movie that I haven't seen from this franchise. Um, I've seen the other, um, um, I've seen the other, um, sequels. Like, I saw the first one, I saw the second one, I saw the third one, and I saw the fifth one. But I haven't seen the prequel. Um, so I'm looking forward to checking this one out, though. I like the first one a lot. That was a good... Excuse me for a second. Um, I didn't care for the first one. I thought it was okay, but... Dumb decisions and... Not very good of a scary movie. Um, what I meant is the second one. I'm a big fan of the second one. It's a pretty fun movie. Pretty fun action filler horror film. Very good. Um, the third movie is decent. Uh, it's kind of confusing at times and kind of messy, the story, but it's fun though. And The Forever Purge is a good flowing chapter. It's really entertaining. It's a decent movie. I had a good time with it. Um, but I haven't seen this one. Um, I'm expecting decent things out of it. So we're going over first the movies that I haven't seen yet. Um... And then after that, the movies that I have seen. Um, I did see this movie. Okay, I guess I'm gonna add movies that I have seen in this movie, in this part. Uh, I actually did see this one, um, a couple years ago. Um, and it's a decent flick. It's fun. It's interesting. It's a good action filler. It's a good performance by Liam Neeson. But I kind of forgot about it. Like most of his action fillers came out in the early 2010s. So, but it's a decent action filler. And Liam Neeson does a good job in there. And a pretty interesting twist, but kind of forgettable. But I'll check it out again. It's decent. Um, I started watching this movie, and it's pretty interesting, though. Know, but I'm looking forward to checking it out. Um, the whole movie, though. Um heard a lot of good things about this movie though um so far what i've seen matthew mcconaughey gives a great performance but i haven't seen the movie yet so i'm pretty sure it's good throughout so i'm looking forward to checking out all of the movie um to see if it's good or not um Um, now we're going back into the movies that I haven't seen yet, um, and the ones I haven't seen, I'm not going to talk about them, I'm just going to show you guys, unless if it's a part of the franchise, then talk about that, but like, it's not... 
Again, I don't have much to say about them. Um, so, yeah, I feel like that makes sense. So, um, tell me down below which ones I should watch first. Um, some of these I've been hearing are very good movies, but they're on my watch list, and I haven't checked them check them out so um no um so I might be present I might be presently I mean excuse me for a second I might be presently by these movies. I might think they're surprising how decent they are. Pleasantly surprised by it. They might be pleasantly surprising. They might be really decent, but who knows. Um... I just look at the concept of it and it's pretty interesting so it's kind of like that. But again, I don't know if it's good or not. Some of these might be big stinkers, but who knows. Um, Again, I don't, I'm not sure though. Now I'm just seeing if there's any ones that I haven't seen yet. And let me down below, let me know down below if any of these are worth watching or not.
any of these you want me to review in the future. Open up the suggestions now. Um, Yeah. Uh, so now I'm trying to look and got some more I haven't seen yet. Um, Um, yeah, this is a blue lag. And I know this movie's great, though. Um, this was finally the opportunity that the Oscars gave Leonardo DiCaprio his Oscar um, in uh, 2016, 2016. Um, but I haven't seen it yet. But I've been hearing a lot of great things about it. Especially that bear scene was very intense. But I've been hearing about it, uh, but I suppose that Leonardo DiCaprio gives a great performance in this movie, and I saw that Tom Hardy is in this movie, and I think Tom Hardy is like the main villain, but um, looks like a great survival flick with Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, I haven't seen this one. It's like one of the few 
Leonardo DiCaprio films I haven't seen. With Tom Hardy in there. Um, should be great. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to look if there's ones that I haven't seen before. Um, trying to make it easier now. Um, movie looks like a cooking movie. I'm not sure though. Um, yeah, Julia Childs, um, she's a pretty good cook. Had her own cooking show. Um, so I'm supposedly thinking that this is kind of like a drama comedy. I'm not sure though, but um, it looks interesting enough. Um, so looking forward to checking this one out. I don't know if it's going to be good or not, but it looks like the day in the life of Julia Childs. So, who knows? But, great cast in there, too. Very good cast. Um, cast of actors and actresses. Um, and this one, too, has a great cast in there, too. Um, it looks like a good action for uh, too. Uh, true story. Uh, John, um, the original, um, John, um, his last name. He's like one of the outlaws from the 1930s. Um, Digger, I think. I think I'm messing up his last name, but um, looks like a pretty good action for decent film release. Yeah, Digger. Um, When I was looking at this movie, I was thinking about another movie called Black Mass with Johnny Depp playing a, a Boston gangster. I think this movie's a lot different now, but it's, a, it's also a crime, crime drama filler, so I guess that makes sense, and this has a... It has like a all star cast in there, like Black Mass. And I like Black Mass a lot. It's a very good crime filler. Um, very fun now. Um, it's a good movie. But I haven't seen this one yet. I'm talking about uh, Black Mass though. But I haven't seen this one yet, and it's been on my watch list for a while. Looks like a great crime drama filler. Um, with a very good cast in there. And a very good director, too. Um, which I like most of his work. Um, Oliver Stone. Uh, 
Um, very controversial director, but he does pretty good movies, so about true story and controversial topic. Um, but this one looks like a good, fun, filler, action filler, drama, suspense. A great cast in there, too. Um, this one looks like a very good Denzel Washington filler with um, Bruce Willis in there the 90s um so i'm expecting a decent fun action filler out of this hopefully it's good um good underrated from the 90s so now i'm gonna put aside the ones that i have seen just to do another part from it it looks like we got four more to go if i do talk about the ones that i've seen And this is the last one in this pile that I actually haven't seen. Um, I haven't seen this movie yet. Um, I don't know if it's good or not. But it looks like kind of like a quality made animated feature. Again, I'm not sure. So maybe I'm wrong about it, but I think this was a directed DVD movie. And I'm kind of surprised that it was a lease on Blu-ray 3D. It's kind of interesting now. But hopefully it's a decent Disney film. Um they usually make good, very good movies and like some decent ones so um expecting something good and actually um excuse me i got one more um that i haven't seen um So I'm actually thinking about doing one part of the feature that I haven't seen for those movies in that pile and then the ones I have seen I'll make a set I'll make it into like the next part where I'll be talking about them. So um just end uh, part twenty-four for my Blu-ray collection. I upload part twenty-five today and Hopefully you guys have a good rest of your day. Make sure to subscribe, follow, follow uh, this channel as well as comment down below if you want to like. And I hope that you guys really enjoy this video. And gals too, guys and gals. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.